Hi, I'm going to tell you about Robustness Gym, our comprehensive new Python evaluation toolkit. There are many challenges in how we evaluate machine learning models today. First, there are a lot of tools out there. We observe that practitioners today mostly use four kinds of evaluations and that no single tool supports all of them. Second, because of this, users have a fragmented workflow. They switch between tools to evaluate and consolidate all their evaluation datasets and results manually. We created Robustness Gym to address these challenges. First, Robustness Gym contains simple abstractions for users to easily implement any of these four evaluations. Users can also write a very thin wrapper around any library they like and use it in Robustness Gym. Second, users can put all of their evaluations into a version test bench and can auto-generate reports for any model from these test benches. Let's look at a Python example. Let's load the SNLI dataset and find examples with the shortest and longest hypotheses. Here's a function that calculates text length. Let's wrap it in a subpopulation that uses percentiles to slice our dataset. Apply it and we get out the slices that we wanted, containing examples with the shortest and the longest hypotheses. Let's add these slices to a version test bench and then we can generate a report for any model that we like. You can also create reports using our Streamlit interface. Let's choose a task, NLI, a dataset, SNLI, and a model, and generate a standard report. The report contains scores that span multiple slices across four evaluation types, subpopulations, attacks, transformations, and evaluation sets. This report tells us that the model doesn't handle misspellings very well. It misclassifies examples as contradiction. This just scratches the surface of what you can do with Robustness Gym. Use it today. Just pip install and use our notebook tutorials to start building. Thanks for listening to this talk.